Welcome back, GGV viewers. Today has been horrible so far. Uh, first, it's Friday the 13th, and I woke up sick. Now, I don't really care that it's Friday the 13th. I'm not too sure why I brought that up. But I woke up, and I was sick. My throat was bothering me, and I couldn't even make a video until, like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Then I made the video, and, of course, somehow managed to delete it while it's just about finished uploading to YouTube. So now I'm super late, but in an effort to keep my streak going and not break it on like the 70th day, I am making this really quick video on who is better, Larry Bird or LeBron James. Now, this sounds like a no-brainer, but Larry, Larry has a pretty good case. Now, this is going to be more of a, like, skill, not really a better career, because like, I know when you rank the top 10 players of all time, then that like rings count, all that stuff. I'm talking about like pure skill. That's why there's a one-on-one -on -one going on right now. And I'm going to divide it up into a few categories. Not too sure how many, so let's just go with, there's going to be shooting, there's going to be defense, there's going to be passing, there's going to be rebounding. And then there's going to be value, which kind of leads into the whole, like, top 10 players of all time, but I think it'll be okay. So, starting off with shooting, I'm going to do it from a scale of 1 to 10. Larry Bird gets a 10. LeBron James gets an 8. This shouldn't really be much of a surprise. Like... Larry Bird deserves the 10 because he's Larry Bird. LeBron James doesn't deserve much because he's LeBron James. He can't even shoot free throws very well. Now, I know it's going to get a little controversial, but what happened? I'm basing this off of the players themselves, not off of like of all time or whatever. Larry Bird is the guy that will pull up for three with one off one foot with one hand, get an and one and make the free throw. He's had multiple 50-40-90 seasons, and if I'm not mistaken, he almost averaged a 50-40-90 for his career. So, that's pretty obvious. And LeBron gets a low one because LeBron could not shoot for a while. LeBron can't shoot free throws. He just doesn't get a good grade. Now, defense. I'm not too sure what I want the ratings to be for this one. Because on one side, you have Larry Bird, who, pretty sure he had more steals, if not the same. Same thing with blocks. But, it's kind of tough. They're, basic, they're both really good defenders, but I think I have to give a slight edge to Larry. Just because Larry was playing against, you know, like the Magic Johnsons, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, Michael Jordan's, Dominique Wilkins... Clyde Drexler's, and LeBron James. He played some tough competition. I'm not trying to knock it, but I don't think it really compares to the high-level competition that Larry played. It's like Larry played a lot of people. If, I'm pretty sure he's matched up against everyone except for like two or three of the top ten players of all time. So he, he deserves a little bit of an edge. So eight and a half Larry, eight LeBron. Larry Bird is leading by two and a half points. Here comes the passing. This one, this one is a little tough also. I'm going to give LeBron an edge. I'm going to give LeBron a nine and a half and Larry an eight and a half. So now LeBron, he's only down by one. This is because LeBron James and Larry Bird both have very similar passing. LeBron barely beats him out with assists. But Larry Bird has played with way, way better competition, not competition, teammates, for a lot of his career. Even though they were both amazing passers, LeBron gets a little bit of an edge because he hasn't played the same, he hasn't played with the same amount of, like, level to the teammates. So that's where I'm giving him the advantage. Not by much, but now LeBron is up by one. Here comes rebounding. 
LeBron fans, you're going to be really mad at me for this, but um, Larry gets a 10. LeBron gets a 8.5. I'm sorry, but it's too hard to not give Larry a 10. He averaged 10 rebounds at the small forward position. He's the same height as LeBron, if not barely off, pretty sure the same. And ugh, he played in the era of centers. He played in the big man era, which makes it so much harder for him to get rebounds. But he managed to get 10. While LeBron plays in the weaker area, era that's full of guards. So, sorry guys, but LeBron's down two and a half. Here comes the last one. Value. This is going to be very, very difficult. So instead of giving you the grades, I'm just going to talk about it first. LeBron James, insanely valuable to his team. Without LeBron, you guys see what happens. But Larry Bird. Like, you can't really say they'd be just as good without him. You can't really say they'd be horrible without him. So I'm kind of torn on this one. So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments below. Because I don't know. I say LeBron gets a 10 in value. What does Larry get? I think Larry should get anything from a 7 to a 9. So, somewhere around like 8. But I'm not too sure. So, either... I say... Alright, you know what? How about this? I was give Larry an 8. But it's debatable. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Because Larry just won... By half a point. Not too sure how that just happened. Yeah. Well, I'm out, GTV viewers. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me I'm stupid because I didn't factor in blah, blah, blah. Go ahead. I don't really care. This is interesting. I'm not actually too sure how the heck Larry just got... Larry just got half point more than LeBron. But, um, yeah. All right. Um, bye. <laughs>